Hello, everyone. Welcome to Market Simulation Call for Summer 2021 release. My name is Anshu Mehta. I'm your Market Simulation Coordinator, and today is May 27, 2021. Calls and webinars are recorded for stakeholder convenience, allowing those who are unable to attend to listen to the recordings after the meetings. The recordings will be publicly available on the ISO webpage for a limited time following the meetings. The recordings and any related transcription should not be reprinted without the ISO permission. We have the following agenda today. We'll talk about map stage availability. We'll talk about the market simulation initiatives for summer 2021 and its timelines. And we'll talk about initiatives separately. We'll have a brief reminder of system interface changes, and then we'll talk about next steps. Uh, you can log in to portalmap.kaiser.com to get up to date information on map stage availability. Currently, we have OMS, UI, and API maintenance scheduled for 10th June to 14th June. Any questions on the map stage availability? All right. Moving on. So this is our timeline for the market simulation for summer reading project. Uh, as you can see that we have completed phase one for resource efficacy enhancements track one. We have completed phase one for summer 2021 readiness. And we have opened the system for phase two uh, right now in map stage. Although we are still testing on, uh, on map stage for phase two, uh, we are performing our end-to-end -end testing, but it is open for market participants to get a feel of uh, phase two and uh, start putting it in inputs to maybe uh, do a couple of unstructured testing. We still plan to uh, start our market simulation for phase two on 1st of June, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And we plan to have tight system conditions between noon to 5 p.m. Uh, there are no more changes on this slide. I will stop for any questions on the initiative's timelines. Hi, this is Christy Monahan with SRP. Um, I'm curious about the FERC Order 831 structured simulations. Um, will any of those be repeated next week? Uh, so, Christy, uh, currently we are focused on getting the scenario for today completed. Uh, but yes, if, if there is a need and if market participants feel that they need to redo some scenarios, uh, we have offered buffer dates where we can uh, perform these scenarios again. Uh, those buffer dates are uh, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd June. Okay, do we need to let you know? Because I think we found a lot of issues with either how the units were set up in map stage or, you know, map stage has been down for most of the day today till about 10 minutes ago. So I'm not sure that we had enough time to test. Uh, I surely you could send me an email with uh, the scenario number which you want to retest, and we can schedule something on first, second, or third June. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any other questions on the timeline? Hey, Anshuman, this is I C. Hi, go ahead. I have a question about the uh, um, next week's timeline uh, for scenarios one, two, and five. Uh, we just had an internal meeting, and then we some of our actual RDR programs have a six-hour runtime, and we were wondering if this timeline can be extended to six hours, so noon to six. Noon to six. Okay, let me check with my SMEs. Uh, Alex, are you on the call? Isaac, let me get back to my SMEs and uh, get you final details on it. So just to sure, say, you want the timing to be noon to 6 p.m. 
Yeah, we it's just, so we're basically some of our programs have a maximum runtime of six hours, and we are looking to simulate a scenario where they will also get a shutdown instruction. So, I see. All right, let me let me talk to my SMEs and get back to you. Great, thanks. And I do have some more questions regarding the actual scenario setup, but uh, I think I can wait until you get to that area. To okay. Uh, on your previous question, Isaac, would you mind sending us a CD ticket so that uh, since we don't have any other meetings till we start testing market simulation on six one? So if you have if you have a CD ticket, I can reply to you back on the CD ticket. That will be a faster way to do that. Will do. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Instrument. This is Chun Yu from TGE. Um, Sorry, question Jimmy. on yeah, question for the summer readiness phase two. So on June first, um, you're gonna have the you know the QRB, and do you have a time as like when is it morning time, and then when it? So how we get the communication that we can uh, start to put in the real time bits for the June first. Right, so we're planning to do QRB before noon so that the testing timeline is not affected. If the QRB does not pass, then we will just not consider the 6 1 as a market simulation date. Uh, we'll consider 6 2 as the first uh, market simulation date. And if we are not able to complete our testing in the given days for market simulation, then we can talk about uh, extending uh, to a few more days that we have after this week. Okay, so you will provide a formal communication in the market. We won't have a market sim call on the one. So I'm just more thinking about, okay, how, how market participants get the communication. So if the QRB fails uh, to pass, you know, to start the market simulation, I would be sending out emails to all the registered uh, market participants for delay on the phase two of summer release. Sure. Do, do, don't you? Um, I'm just thinking since Monday is a holiday, and and it's a very critical, even just you know, on the June first to get some information. Is it okay for you to move the Monday's meeting to Tuesday from two to three, so we at least aware what's going on, what is being changed, um, instead of waiting to to the June third? That's a great idea, Tony. I can definitely do that. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hi, Anshuman. This is Elena Yeo from pg &E. So I have a question regarding FERC Order 831 Scenario 1, which is uh, submitting the reference level adjustments manually. So say if we wish to retest the scenario on June 1st, so for day ahead, we'll have to submit a CD ticket on 31st of uh, May, which is holiday. So, um, so, so I what will do the testing for the day ahead piece on 6-2, so that on 6-1 you can Put the bids in for three okay. days. You mean six one? We can submit the CD ticket, right, for the bids? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, thank you so much. But uh, just uh, send me an email or a CD ticket that you plan to do that testing because uh, then we'll be ready for it. Okay, sure. Thank you. Uh, as we are moving to the buffer date. Yeah, we'll do. Thank you. Hi, Enchman. Um, we have this is Chenyu. Uh, so I have more questions. It's a general question. So on May 31st, it's a holiday. It's a Monday. Does Kaiso plan to run the market, the day ahead market? So the day ahead market will run, but it might not have tight system conditions because okay. we have to put an effort to actually create those uh, tight system conditions. And since it's a, it's a holiday, we will have limited resources. We will still run the day ahead, but we will not have tight system conditions. Okay, thank you. Um, my second question is, then I also um, gonna invite PGE uh, SMEs to uh, chime in. 
So if we we'll say if we trying to put some bits in um, this Friday, is the Friday cyber going to be available this Friday? Uh, yes, the system should be available tomorrow. Right. So so because we also on our side we try to prepare for running those uh, summer readiness scenarios. We plan to put in some bits for the AS AS award. Uh, on Friday, uh, we want to make sure that those will not be overwritten um, by Kaiso. So that those okay. we're going to submit, yeah, submit tomorrow, and then it's for you know it's for June first, but we want to make sure that it's not yeah it's not overwritten. We can definitely take care of that, Junior. I would request you to submit a CD ticket so that we can track that request with our SMEs. You want, okay, you want me to submit a CD ticket? Do not read, okay, overwrite. Okay. Right, and you know, just mentioning what are the settings that you have put in so that when we run the market, we can make sure that those settings are actually in the market. Okay. Hey, Anshuman, this is IHPRC. So I think based on what I just heard, um, that means you may not run tight system market conditions on for, for trade day the first. That means you will not, you may not run scenario five then because that relies on a tight market system condition to run, right? We will run tight system conditions on 6-1 for real time. For real time, but okay. we will not run. Yeah, but will not run tight system conditions on uh, May thirty first. That's a holiday. Okay, so on June first, the the applicable market for the tight system condition is real time. But for six two and six three, it will be for both markets. Just wanted to confirm. Yes. Okay. Any other questions that we can discuss here? All right, uh, moving on. Again, uh, not much change here on this slide for scenario descriptions. It is listing uh, resource efficiency enhancements phase one and two and summer readiness phase one, two, three uh, scenarios and some timelines and the applications for phase two that the scenarios will be run on. Any questions on the scenarios? Hey, Anshuman, this is Ramon Mitchell from Pacific Corp. Hi. We've got a question on the scenario number seven. Um, there's a little bit of, we have a little bit of confusion over here. We're, to our understanding, we're curious about the use of RTSI submissions in map stage and whether map stage would accept RTSI submissions um, if we try to test the auto mirroring functionality. So if my understanding is correct, the RTCI submissions are canned and uh, I'll have to work with my SMEs to see if uh, what we can do to test the RTCI part of it. Okay, that'd be great. Um, our concern is that if we if you go through with this auto mirror proposal and we split our current mirrors into two, one of which is auto mirrored by the Kaiso and one of which is um, left over on our old mirror, so to speak, we need to verify that our our old mirror, which becomes the the the, the current mirror that does not include auto mirror schedules, still maintains the correct RTSI submission um, profile. And if map space doesn't accept their RTSI submissions, we can't verify. Understood, Raman. Uh, could you please uh, submit a certificate for this request, and I will work with my SMEs to identify what we can do to test the RTCI piece of it. Okay, we'll do. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions that we can address here? Um, I do have a question, another question, uh, Enshman. So we, um, I think we op we open a city ticket. This is for FERC Order 831 about, you know, the 
one of the tasks it's a, in the OASIS report. It's a, I believe it's a new report. It's a very hard to see. And um, we kind of have a ticket and ask Kaiso whether you can address that um, in time um, before going live. I think I saw your CD ticket. Is it regarding the scrolling of the OSS report? Yes. Yes. Uh, so, okay, so I just saw it coming in. So let me work with my SMEs to see what we can do for that request. And Great. thank you thank for you submitting both. a CD ticket for it. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, Any other questions? Uh, this is Alpha from Fiji. I just wanted to add to that that one possibility is you've got some uh, selections where you've only got three or four reports, and this one has literally probably 30. So maybe just a short-term fix would be to move it into a different category um, because it, it really is, um, I, if for those of us with, on laptops, you have to basically um, go to a very small resolution screen in order to be able to see the full uh, um, scroll, the, the full pick list to get to the bottom of it. Got it. Uh, thank you, Alva. Let me discuss with my SMEs and get back to you on uh, this particular report. Thanks, Edgeman. Thank you. All right. Any other questions that we can address you? Okay. Moving on. Uh, this is uh, for first quarter 831. We are on the last day for structured scenario. Of course, we have buffer dates June 1, 2, and 3. I would request uh, all the market participants, if you want to repeat some scenarios, please send us a request uh, via email or via CD so that uh, we can schedule those test scenarios. Uh, for for quarter 831, we had a customer training on 518, and the videos are posted on ISO Learning Center, so you can go there and refresh your understanding of quarter 831 if you need to. Any uh, questions that I can address for for quarter 831? Uh, yeah, hey, this is Isaac. I see you again. Hey, so Anshuma, as you know, we have run into some cyber validation um with scenario two and just wondering if um if that will be addressed before we before we can go live with this initiative uh isaac could you repeat what were the issues like did you send the issue was we ran you? into a cyber validation saying that the breakpoints on the default energy bid curve adjustment oh. has to has to match um basically whatever the um, the default energy bid curve is being calculated by ISO in the CMRI report. Right. And I believe you have submitted a CD again. I think I saw it. I, I have. I'm just wondering, you know, if this this is this seems to be an error that will prevent us to be able to submit um, our request in automatically via cyber. So just wanted to see, you know, if this will be addressed before we go live. Uh, do you have the number by any chance with you? The CD ticket number? Yeah. Sure. Let, let me uh, pull it up. This is Christy from SRP. I've also had the same issue with this scenario. Perfect. Okay. So uh, once we have a resolution for that, I will put it on the presentation as known issue and explain what was the reasoning behind it and what we can, what we can do to resolve it. Okay. Anshuman, my CD ticket number is 238285. 238285. That's correct. All right. Uh, I would definitely follow up on priority on this one and uh, see what we can do to resolve this. Okay. Uh, any other questions for further We have something similar, and also I think the SME asked further clarification, and we're still waiting for the response. Um, I, I don't have a CD number, CD ticket number in front of me, but um, 
definitely, I think the concern here is that are those questions going to be get response and if it's a problem, would they be addressed before, you know, before June 15 going live? Well, we're trying our best to respond as soon as possible to you on all the CD tickets we're getting uh, regarding the validation. Uh, mostly I've seen that the validation, there is a rule that's behind all the uh, rejection of the bids. There's a rule that comes up saying that you cannot do this because of that. But again, let me follow up with my SMEs and get the exact resolution for your request. Thank you. Uh, hello, this is Emmy Sunset for Midway Sunset, and, and we had to change our, our XML file for that. If there's a change in that requirement, where did you say it would be, you would be posting that? Well, I haven't uh, determined if there is a uh, issue yet, Emmy, and okay. if, if okay. you're facing certain issue, if you can log in a CD ticket, uh, we'll get back yep. to you on that one with the exact thing. We changed we changed our XML to match that, but um, it it would be easier if there is a a change. Then that would be easier as well. So I'll just keep looking for it. Thanks. All right. Let me let me confirm with trying trying to know where we key uh, where we post the XML formats. Oh no, I've, oh. I've got the XML format. I I thought you said that there might, if there was a you know, a change that you were going to post that change somewhere. I was mentioning that if we, if there is a resolution and there is an issue with the functionality, I will put it on the presentation so that everybody would know what that issue was and when the resolution would be accepted expected for it. Okay, on the next presentation, is that what you mean? Hopefully, if I can get a resolution by that time, okay. or at least we know what the root cause is. Thank you. That's fine. Thanks. Thank you. Any other questions we can address here? Mm. All right. Uh, we'll move on. For resource adequacy enhancements track one, we have completed phase one. We will be doing phase two on June 15th. And the showing period that was reduced to one hour for market sim, it will be available to 6-4. After that, we plan to switch it to 24 hours as it is in production. Any questions for this project? All right. Moving on. For summer 2021 readiness, uh, we completed phase one for structure simulation, and phase two we are planning to start on June 1st. I believe I have discussed all the details about this project. I can invite if anybody has any other thoughts or concerns regarding summer 2021 readiness project. Um, I have one question. Um... Instrument. So, is Kaiso plan to see any AS, you know, the capacity um, in the day ahead market? I would have to defer it to my SME. Uh, do we have somebody in Kaiso who can answer this question? Hi, this is Howard Skandivian. Yes, we expect uh, normal submission including the AS capacity in the head market. Um, so you expect submission, but do, are you going to see anything? Or say if there's no submission, are you going to um, put some AS capacity there? And because that one scenario is that require you to release that, right? Once in the arm low, arming low condi system exactly. condition. Yeah, we, we need to have uh, some unresource capacity in order to release it. So it either has to be submitted in day head market and then came in real time market, come in real time market, or it, you should do it for real time. But, what are we okay, prefer? Yeah, we, we also plan to, to submit some. I'm just also wondering you plan to, you know, put some in there, like Kaiso plan to put some in there 
by CAISO, not by market participants. No, we are not going to do any, we are not going to interfere in your bidding strategy. So please make sure you, you submit the uh, answer source. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, um, yeah, just make sure that you have everything to trigger the condition. So, okay. We, we, we plan to do it, but just, just curious to know. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Alex. Any other questions we can address for summer readiness? Okay, moving on. This is a quick reminder about interface changes that are coming with the summer release. Uh, anybody has any questions regarding the interface changes, please let us know. Um, hey, Anshuman, this is Isaac. Um, I didn't realize we kind of moved on from this summer readiness uh, discussion already. You can go back. <clears throat> yeah, can you, can you please go back? So kind of, uh, I think what Chen Yu was saying is that, um, so the Kaiso actually regularly seeds bids into the market sim environment. And I think her concern was that whatever she's, if she, she submits a bid beforehand, it doesn't get overwritten by the Kaiso market sim. Uh, you know, seeded bids, right? Because we, we've seen that happen. And actually that kind of played out when we were doing scenario um, one and two earlier this week, where the regularly seeded bids kind of flooded the market so that we had some issues with the, the market outcome, right? So I think that was what Chen Yu was suggesting. Uh, I guess my question also would be that it seems like for next week's scenarios, your uh, one, two, and five, they have different market conditions that is required. <clears throat> and I just want to make sure that all of the scenarios would be addressed, um, meaning that, okay, so in scenario one, you're asking for a import bid of about $100 on resources. Uh, on scenario two, you're looking for a market competitive bid right, for resources. But on scenario five for RDRR, we are having to basically put in a very high um, market bid because uh, that, that's how those programs are set up. So I want to make sure that, you know, all of these, um, I guess, registered resources that we have put in for all three scenarios will get awarded because my concern is that if you have like if you if if you're flooding the market with regular normal price bids, uh, what ends up happening is that none of our RDR resources will get awarded and dispatched. So I want to make sure that the market condition is tight enough where that would not be a problem. Alex, can you comment on that? We start, yeah, we will do where we can do and we are driving market up to $2,000 price under FERC 831 condition and under and to $1,000 price if it, there is no FERC 831 condition. So we will exhaust everything under normal bidding prices until we get what we need. So I'm working on this right now and uh, it's working fine. So we'll make sure that we will get to that level of uh, dispatch. Okay. I, I concur with everything Isaac just mentioned. Yes, <laughs> it's very important because some of them, it's uh, just because if we're not in such a crunch time, um, we can always come back and do another round of testing but since some of the, you know, some of the um, testing is that the settlement statements were not released until T plus 5B, and that gets very close to June 15, so which is get us nervous. Thank you. I do have one more question. Uh, if, um, Isaac, I'm sorry to interrupt if you are done. I'm done, go ahead. Um, instrument, I'm still 
um, waiting for the reliability curtailment uh, hour to be identified by you, because I think that scenario we trying to execute either on the first or on the or the second. I forget, um, but if you can uh, comment on the you know the on the uh, request that we Josh send you an email, that would be helpful. Thank you. Sorry for throwing so much things on you guys, and, and we just we try to work hard on our side and trying to get everything light up so we can be as soon as the gates open we can be ready to um, exercise all the testing no problem to me that's what we are here for uh, i have talked to my sme and uh, i think he's he would be okay doing it anytime if we can tell him beforehand so we can discuss uh, at our meeting at four o'clock and you know okay. we could maybe propose a few times and then uh, we can choose one and do it. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, any other questions that we can talk to you? All right. Uh, moving on. Well, we already talked about the interface changes. Please let me know if you have any questions on these. All right, moving on. That's all I had for today's conference. Next conference scheduled on June 3rd, but I will schedule one more on 1st of June at 2 p.m. Thank you everyone for joining the call. Thanks.